Hello everyone and welcome back to Donut Like, Donut Read. My name is Clemens and today I'm gonna betray Adam. Everybody betray me, I'm fed up with this world. And Joaquin. Oh no, please don't betray me. <laughs> yes, and we have a betrayal story for you. <laughs> we do. It's called Harry Potter, the Ghost of Hogwarts. So the Harry Potter fandom loves its Harry Potter betrayal stories for some reason. People just love to make this kid's life even more shit. It's written by Ian Somer Holder fan forever. Ian Somer Holder? Ah, that's probably someone. I think that's somebody's name. Um, hey, guys. This is a story about how Harry was betrayed and found out about it because he cooped could then handle it anymore. He did something that made him happy again. If you want to find out what he did, then you better read this story. You better. If you don't like Ron or Hermione bashing, then you better not be reading it. <laughs> At least they give to us. Um, the, what the author should have warned us about is the, the start of the story s starts off with self-harm. It's very poorly described, but it's still here, so if you're not into that, just letting you know. All right. Is this supposed to be Harry speaking? Yes, that's Harry speaking in the first part. Okay. I couldn't handle the pain anymore. I just wanted to die, so I did the only thing I could think of. Taking a knife from the kitchen while I was cooking. I was just lying in my room, checking my injuries for broken bones. Wait, is he in his room or is he in the kitchen? Uh, maybe his kitchen is the room. Yeah, he's so used to living under the stairs, I guess this was an upgrade. I was reminiscing about my life. Wait, uh, okay. About who would miss me. Snape? Not likely. He would just cheer if I were gone. Yay! Nobody loved a good-for-nothing freak. Besides, I wouldn't be free from my relatives and the pain. I was now dragging the blade across my veins, uh, being thrilled to leave. Uh, slowly but surely, my soul was retreating from my body, leaving my broken and soulless body from bo uh, 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 shit, <laughs> soulless body behind. For others to find, not that anybody would care for that matter. Even Ron and Hermione would be glad because I heard them speaking about getting paid to pretend to be my friends. <laughs> Finally, some good old betrayal in my betrayal thing. Yep. That, that's, that is so common in these stories where he finds out that Dumbledore was paying them to be his friends to spy on him. That's a very common uh, theme. Oh, I thought it was like James Potter left in his estate with instructions to pay some kids to be his son's friend if if, <laughs> if he died. That would be, I mean, that would be a twist. That would be different. My last breath was coming out in shallow gas as I started to feel dizzy and disoriented. Eventually, my world became black. And that is the story of how I died. Oh, there, that is a short fic. Okay. Yeah, well, um, uh, yeah, don't harass this author. We have a Discord in the description. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, it's not over. <laughs> but the unfortunate is that my soul, uh, my soul still swerves around. I was currently watching Ron Hermione. It wasn't a even. It wasn't even a week after my dad that they were trying to take my money. But little did they know, I still had access to my account. Ow, you're dead. How do you? Yeah. Uh, no. A week after his dead. Yeah, you know, you send messages via blood on the mirror to the bank employees too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know if you don't leave a will behind and they want to figure out who the money goes to they go to your like vault with a ouija board and they determine where it goes to from there 
<laughs> yeah. It's it's been 23 years since my alive. <laughs> I also blocked their keys to enter my vaults. Tonight it was going to be a good night because I was going to appear during an order meeting. Time skip. Hello, everybody, miss me. Potter, but how is that possible? Asked the curious Snape. I am a ghost, that's why. Everybody was still asking questions about how I could be a ghost. I mean, that's, pr that's pretty well documented in Harry Potter, how you become a ghost, right? <clears throat> yeah. I can't, it's I can't remember enough. enough. Yeah, yeah, whatever, I guess they forgot. I think it's time that we skip all the questions. Would you like to know why I killed myself? I asked to everybody. So here's the problem. There's a bunch of people here. Some of them are PC gamers, some Xbox, some PlayStation, some Nintendo. So some will press the space button to skip your questions. Some will B button. Some will <laughs> circle. So... <laughs> <laughs> And he probably was told to kill himself when he was playing Halo online. That, that might be the reason. <laughs> Snape. Pav. I just was too stunned to realize all the horrors that Potter must have been through. I knew what it was like to feel the pain of being abused. I already had the scars to prove them and the memories stuck inside my head. Some gruesome memories that would never disappear. All throughout the explaining, I began to see the faces of the Order that were really out to be... What? What, what, what does he mean by okay. that? Okay. Yeah. I finally understood why Potter would do this. Because just of the mention that all the money they stole from him was being taken back to his vault. That was when their true faces showed. I couldn't believe that I have spied for these people all my years. Wait, so, wait. So, I think my theory that uh, James Potter <laughs> instructed his estate to pay them holds true because... There was probably a clause that if Harry killed himself, all the money would go back to the vault. <laughs> Ooh, very sneaky. <laughs> but it, it makes it sound like he killed himself so he could catch them in the axe. That seems like a very bad reason to do that to yourself. I mean, it's never a good reason to do that to yourself, but... Ugh. Just... I, I don't, don't think Harry thought this one through. Harry Pov. <sighs> When I was finished explaining all the horrors and meanings that I survived. Uh, I, that's the end of the sentence, I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he, he, he did, that's what he did. He explained when. <laughs> I noticed that Snape started to look at me in amazement. Probably because of the m amount of money that I had. Oh yeah, Snape loves money. So what a gold digger. <laughs> yeah, it's like Mr. Krabs, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he became a teacher, because of all the money you get paid for being a teacher. <laughs> at, Hog at Hogwarts. Yeah. Uh, so there are famous uh, fa fan Harry Potter parodies in Germany, and one of them was like, Snape was like, oh man, why do I put up with Dumbledore's shit? And when it was described how he looked into his drawer and saw his many paychecks because Dumbledore always forget whether he paid Snape or not. And when Snape was like, oh yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. I mean, that explains a lot. He was in it for the money all along. You could probably make bank as a janitor there. Uh, Hogwarts. Yeah, do you think Filch like has like a mansion? You know, he gets to go to in the summers. All the others of the order were looking at me with greed in their eyes, and some of them with anger, because I just revealed the major plot and planning that they have done 
uh, that they have done throughout the years. I'm, I'm not I, really I was sure a little confused happened. by that second. Yeah, I don't I was, like the author never really explained what was happening. Like they betrayed him, but we don't really have the details. So I guess it's implied that when I was finished explaining all the horrors and beatings I survived, that somehow also revealed their major plot and planning of the order. Yeah, it's just I guess they were out for his money. I, I guess that seems to be that what was said. Is this? The author doesn't really explain it anywhere. Uh, hey guys, it's me, the author. I think it's time we that we skip all the questions. Thanks, bye, don't contact <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. The ghost of the author has spoken. I, I hope it wasn't his ghost. Hopefully it's just an astral projection. You know, it's like uh, in Sharkborn Lava Girl when, uh, when uh, Minus contacts George Lopez. I know what you're talking about, but I've never seen the movie. <laughs> Dude, one one of these years, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna cosplay as Mister Mister Electric. Have oh, I'd my, love to see my that. fucking face, uh, like stretched out in that screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be down for that. What's up? Okay. Um. All I could think about was getting my sweet sweet revenge and having some fun doing it i also knew that i was never going to see my parents in heaven but it was a price worth paying to see the faces of the people that betrayed me that that's worth it to you <laughs> like if you believe your parents are in the afterlife and you can't see them now just because you want to pull a little gotcha moment on your so-called friends, that's a terrible reason to do that. Like, why would you do that? Yeah, it's like, what are you gonna do when you're done? He's like, well, I guess I gotta roam Earth now as a spirit. Yeah, that, like, <laughs> in this universe, they really make it clear that being a ghost sucks. Like, it is not fun, and you don't get to move on, and you're stuck, and you really can't do a whole lot, except, like, scare people, that's about it. Like, Are you talking about like in the it? actual in the actual series or just as fake? In the series, in the series, oh. it, it, they they make it very clear that being a ghost kind of sucks. I just it just seems like such a stupid thing to do. Like if you're to, if that's why you were doing it, uh, yeah, I guess you just make do. <laughs> yeah, it just it was worth it for the ultimate prank. Yeah. <laughs> I started thinking about mom, dad, in the serious, when all of a sudden, there was a glowing white light. I had to cover my eyes for a bit because of the lost eyesight and notice three figures floating. They're like, uh, floating, they're looking at me with s smiles on their face. I just imagine that one guy from the Sponge SpongeBob movie, just right there. My eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Dan, it's serious. What are you doing here? I yelled, seeking answers from them. Well, sweetie, your father, Sirius, and I were brought here to guide you and to have a new chance at life. <laughs> With our precious son. Even though we, we, we are dead and ghost. <laughs> <laughs> dead and ghost. <laughs> Not even we are, it's just they were dead and ghost. Oh, wow. <laughs> so are they alive again? Are they alive, angels? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we're going to keep bringing that up, that story that's never getting published. <laughs> But we can still hug each other because we love you and we're hoping for a chance like this. <laughs> My mother explained. Yeah, Pongslet. So now we can uh, play all sorts of pranks on the people that betrayed us and the people who stole your money. <laughs> they left heaven for that? Jeez. Sirius <laughs> explained to me. <laughs> what are you gonna say? Did you just gonna say something, Clemens? Because I was just saying how um, it was where they left heaven just to do that. They they now they're back and they're just gonna cause chaos. Yeah, uh, 
So in 20 years, some guy will rip me off on eBay and in 50 years, I will haunt that motherfucker for the rest of eternity. I mean, that's, that's, if you get to go, if you can go to and from heaven to do that, that's pretty worth it. But yeah. When I'm a spirit, I'm just going to be sitting around in old castles waiting for uh, YouTubers to do ghost hunting so I can fuck with them. <laughs> oh, that sounds like that. That sounds like the dream. But yeah, just make sure you don't you're not there when actual camera crews come in. That way they'll always look like a hoax. Looking towards my father, I noticed that he started looking pride. Mir what? <laughs> Merely by the mention of pranking people with me and Sirius. <laughs> what kind of pranks? I wanna know. Well, in the books, um, Sirius and James Potter and their friends, they were pranksters. So it does track that they would enjoy just being prank guys who just pull pranks. But they would do lots of magical pranks in the book. So that, that does kind of make sense. It's just dumb. <laughs> um, why, do you, why do you think they're dead now? Because all, all these pranks they pulled. Yeah. All it took well, was just one single prank of... Um, Go go into the hood prank, uh, gone wrong. That's how they died. Yeah, it wasn't Voldemort. It was a prank that killed him. <laughs> Their last words were, "It's just a prank, bro." <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, hell isn't real, and the first person to be condemned to hell had to be, uh, we <laughs> haunt the earth as prank YouTuber, since that's uh, <laughs> eternal punishment. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Mom, on the other hand, didn't look pleased, and that's why she cuffed them both over the head. What? <laughs> Did she, like, have head-sized handcuffs and just cuffed them together? That's very Looney Tunesy. Lily! Lily! My dad and my dad in Sirius shouted simultaneously. Mom just stood there grinning, probably remembering the good old days. Uh, oh, but what? <laughs> the good old days of pranking, even though she's not happy about pranking. She, she said she wasn't pleased with what they were thinking about. I, I don't know either. Everybody from the Order just sat there with their mouths open, and Dumbledore just looked like he swallowed a lemon. Probably because he knew now his plans wouldn't work anymore. What plans? What was the plan? <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. I I'm, just a, I'm, to... just, I'm just imagining, like I said, Sather with her mouth open. I'm just, I don't know why. I just imagined that um, they look exactly like the, the Sonic urinal picture I, I showed you the other day. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> that, that picture is, just, I don't know. It's just straight up, like, disturbing. It's like, every yeah. time I think about it, I just get, like, the shivers. Honestly, I've been on the internet for 30 years now. I'm just kind of used to all of it. Well, not exactly 30, but, yeah. <sighs> but it was, was pretty gross. That's someone's fetish, though, obviously. Snape Pov. My first thought ca that came in my head was... Shit. Now I've done it, the one person that I loved and the other two persons that I loathed were back again as ghosts <laughs> and were here to prank people. This is going to be great still under the prank war and now that Harry has joined then, I will never be resting in peace. Prank war shit. <laughs> <laughs> They make it sound so lighthearted that everyone's dead right now. <laughs> Why the hell am I calling Potter Harry? I thought to myself. Oh well, let's just see where my feelings would end up to. Yeah, I perhaps <laughs> you're calling him Harry because there's also no James Potter and Lily Pop Potter to worry about. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, Clemens is the voice of reason in this story because <laughs> I, I don't know what the hell is going on. Clemens is here for me. <laughs> <laughs> I always knew that I like Harry, but I w just still kept thinking of him as Potter's son. 
That's why I never explored that Harry would have another personality than Potter's. At least the hatred that he had for me wasn't only in my person, but the entire order. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. I would always ask Harry if he would ever give me a chance to prove myself against him, Lily, James, and Sirius. I still would like to be forgiven for being the cause of the Potter's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Because of my fault and my ignorance, I sent them to their deaths. Right after my inner revelation of my past mistakes, I got the burning pain in my mark notifying me that the Dark Lord wished to see me. Immediately! <laughs> this is kind of incomprehensible. Like, I, I know what's actually happening, but it's just, it's just barely now. Ugh. Yeah. You guys ready for now, chapter two? Yeah, <laughs> chapter two. The revealing of a spy. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> First arriving there, I noticed that I was the only one there and that the Dark Lord had Nagini with him. Immediately, I knew what was wrong. They must have discovered were my true loyalties lie. Se oh Severus, it seems that I do not have just one snake, but two! You <gasps> wouldn't happen to know of which I'm speaking of, would you? Voldemort asked. Too afraid to answer, I just stood there waiting what was coming for me. I knew that my ending would be closer than I anticipated. Bravely, I just said, Voldemort. You can try the best you can, but I will never bow down to a sadist like you. <laughs> Wherever there are people who are dark, there will be people who are ready to fight them. With those last sentences I spoke, he started crucioing me to the point that my nerve system... <laughs> <laughs> my nerve system was still trying to comprehend the stress put put on them. They're, they're playing a nice game of putt putt right now. When the, when DLDR gets does our meetup, we're gonna play putt putt golf together. Yeah. After, <laughs> after he was bored with the Crucio, he told Nagini that she could attack me with an almighty strike. She struck my throat, and with a final wish in my head. I just thought back to the part where I saw Harry standing and smiling at me. With that, I exhaled my head. Wait, I exhaled my final breath, my body slumping against the wall where I was leaning on and just seeping blood out of my wound. Severus, it didn't need to come to this. I just wanted money because everybody <laughs> wants money in this universe. <laughs> yeah, everyone's just... <laughs> everyone's Scrooge McDuck, apparently. <laughs> Harry Pov, startled mom, dad, Sirius, and the entire order noticed another ghost form appearing beside us. Wait a second. Did he, like, go and do that thing with, like, Voldemort while well, they just kind of hung out there the whole time? They did this. I know he could probably teleport to them. It seems like they just, what were they, they didn't go anywhere? This seems weird. I took a closer look to find out it was, that it was Severus, and he appeared to be younger because all the strain of Voldemort's meetings was gone. He <laughs> looked better like this, and m might I even say yummy. <laughs> okay, so my hormones were acting up, and I was just a teenager who enjoys a nice piece of man when given. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why you chose this story, Adam. <laughs> My hormones. Do you have hormones when you're a ghost? Ah, uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess they're called the horror moans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is... I, I don't understand. I never understood why this ship was so popular. Like, Harry x Snape is relatively popular in the Potter fandom, and I just... That's always been really squicky to me. Uh... Whatever. I, 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 I don't even, I can't even question them why they love it so much. His <sighs> eyes were also the deepest browns that I wouldn't mind looking into for the rest of my ghost life. 
But I knew that he would never want anything to do with me, and that was the unfortunate truth that I had to face. <laughs> it's a will they won't they situation. They both love each other, but they can't admit it. How tragic. That's the real tragedy of the story. Upon her, he's like, Snape Severus, to me you are the angel. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Wait, where are you reading? Was that a, part, a line? or? No, no, no. Okay. I, I just, just made that up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now we all noticed that he started awakening and looked around himself confused, probably as to why he was here. Severus, what happened to you? My mom asked. Firstly, Voldemort found out that I was a spy for the light side, and he started using Crucio on me. Afterwards, he sent Nagini on me to eat me. That's Whoa. why I... <laughs> what? No, I was like, wow, dude. Yeah. I mean, Nagini's a snake, so I guess it's possible, but yeah. That's why I came here, I guess, because I had a couple of things that were still needed to be cleared. Samaras explained to us. It was horrifying to hear about the brutal way that he died, but I still thought about my crush on Samar <laughs> Severus, so I decided that I would talk to him about Okay, um is this a betrayal story or is this a love story between or like a one sided crush story between Harry and Severus? I mean, it's marked as a Harry Potter betrayal story, but <laughs> I mean, the I betrayal wanted, already I, happened, I guess. Yeah, when are we going to get to the Ron and Hermione bashing? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I guess the bashing was, oh, they were paid off to be his friend. <laughs> if you want Ron bashing, just you don't have to look very far in this fandom, by the way. It's everywhere. People hate Ron for some reason. Severus. Can I talk to you in private? I asked, hoping that I wouldn't be rejected. I guess so. Come along then, Potter. And don't keep me waiting. I referred to you as Harry earlier. <laughs> <laughs> he demanded, once up on the seventh floor in the room of requirement, I started telling him all about my crush for him. He just stood there watching my every move and probably to see if I wasn't playing a joke on him. But I wasn't someone like that. I couldn't hurt someone's feelings for a stupid prank. <laughs> <sighs> Whoa. I mean, He's, everyone else is going to get pranked, just not him. Yeah. If you don't believe me, then I can let you take a look in my memories and let you decide what to do with them. If you don't like me, then, then I will erase your memory of this event ever happening. I told How, can, him. Can you do that when you're a ghost? I mean, uh, never mind. Uh, well, I, 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 be surprised. And that's a pretty fucked up thing to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Then this is a very the morality of the story is very weird. <laughs> Severus stepped in my mind and started searching for the memory of the crush that I developed over the years and all the dreams I had about him. When he was done searching for this stuff that would show him everything, he did the one thing that would never, ever happen to me. He pulled me into a deep and passionate kiss while his arms encircled my waist, pulling him closer to him in the heat between us grow. They're ghosts. There, there shouldn't be any heat. Uh, it's not that the author gives a shit. Eventually, we had to stop, even though we didn't need to breath. <laughs> oh, don't breath, guys. <laughs> don't breath. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll get clocked or whatever it was. I still wasn't ready for anything other than cuddling and kissing, so I thought just let me enjoy with what I have. Just having a relaxing time with Severus when all of a sudden I remembered that I had to tell my parents in Sirius. Oh joy, I thought. I had to convince them that Severus was a good guy, and that he was the most important person that would be in my life. What life? 
<laughs> and you're my dead. <laughs> yeah, you're dead, boy. You're dead. Uh, afterlife, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and nothing could be strong enough to separate us. <laughs> so. I mean, you guys are ghosts. You can literally walk through each other. Yeah, but I, I guess that's in the hero there. Yeah, I guess in this they can like ghosts can touch each other. I, I don't know. Time skip. Mom, Dad, and Sirius, I have something to tell you. I announced. Well, honey, if it's about your and Severus' relationship, then we totally support you. <laughs> Mom answered knowingly. This is both me and um. This next one is both me and Harry at the same time. So. Three, two, one. But, 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 but how, how, you, 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 you. <laughs> ellipsis, period, then comma. How do you, do know, you know that? that? I asked with Severus. <laughs> Honey, we saw the way you two were looking at each other, and if you two love each other, then we will support you with all the love and guidance that we have. With <laughs> the first words from the wisest brother that I knew I impressed my entire family by pulling Severus into the hug. <laughs> Mom, kind of you're weird. doing this thing where you're describing your actions in third person. My stupid it's... son couldn't uh, keep his stupid mouth shut. I'm gonna pull a prank on him. <laughs> oh, honey, I'm okay if you date the gross boy who used to have a crush on me. It's just ugh. this next part is sixteen years later. It's been quite a while since they heard all all the about all the other people who betrayed them because after they got their revenge, they decided to travel the world a bit to see what was happening. By and luck or misfortune. Either way, Remus had joined them in the afterlife after being mauled by a werewolf that happened to be in the same forest as he was. Oh, that's not, that's not a, like, that. they're making it sound like it's okay because of what happens next, but it's not. <laughs> now Sirius and Remus were a couple much to the surprise of others. If you ask me, it was about time that they came together. And as for me and Severus, we just celebrated our 16 years together. We also got by chance a little girl together. We named her Ophelia Rose Snape. How? <laughs> what, what just happened? How, how old was Harry when he committed suicide in the story? I assume... Uh, it doesn't say. We're go I'm gonna assume that is... Uh, we're gonna uh, assume he was legal. A Dumbledore was still alive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we we don't have we can choose the, the we can, this is this is obviously not canon. We're gonna assume he's seventeen <laughs> or eight. Seventeen is the legal age in the Wizarding World, or eighteen if you want to be safe. But how, how did they have? Did they adopt her? Did they someone get impregnated? What happened? <laughs> they got ghost impregnated. <laughs> like, how can you? And you can't even. You're gonna be parents to this girl as a ghost. That's man. Then Harry's parents were kind of shit that they didn't come back and raise him. If that's that, that easy. Ugh. At first, my life was a disaster, but now I couldn't wish for anything else than my perfect ghost life, or than my perfect ghost life and the love of my life with our little miracle. The end. <laughs> Okay, so that is the end. Oh, wait, there's chapter three. Yeah, there's one more. Clemens, I'm but I, this one. I, yeah, but I got to agree. Uh, Ophelia War Snape is our little miracle. I agree about the miracle part especially. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, chapter three is just called chapter three. Please, to all of my followers, if you love fan fiction and Harry Potter as much as I do, be sure to check out this story. Oh, if we did. Could... <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you're telling us to check out this story while we're in, while we just finished it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, the link below is, I already put that link in. I fixed it so it would fit work on a, as if link. It just takes you to this story, but in, in like, inkit.com. Yeah. So it's the same story. 
if you could vote for me and help me win this, then it would be much appreciated. Don't oh. vote for this offer. If you see this offer on the election <laughs> ballot, don't vote for them. Yeah, and then there's just a link, but I gotta say, this offer is pretty smart because he put the link in a way that ff.net doesn't delete it. Yeah, that's how you do it. But yeah, it doesn't really, it is just the same story, so. Uh, I hope it links back to the fanfiction version in that story, so you're trapped in an endless cycle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the two so, reviews that we got here are pretty great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Lunas... Read Thor, uh, I was going to read Thorillians, uh, yeah. but you, you can read Lunas since it's chapter one. Yeah. Lunas says, Kind of stupid of him to kill himself for revenge. Wouldn't have been better to have lived and gotten the best revenge by living a good the good life and getting back at those who betrayed him yeah that does make more yeah. sense doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> the best revenge is living well don't kill yourself out of revenge that doesn't make sense Ugh. yeah thorillian says that was some of the strangest chapters i've ever read but loved them immensely i agree with one part of it with you <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you love them immensely too, huh, Clemens? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so if if you don't want ghosts to pull pranks on you, don't contact this author yeah. or any of the authors we cover. This author's later stories do look like they improved a lot, so yeah, they don't need to be reminded that this story exists. So yeah, leave them alone. And as always, we have a Tumblr and the Discord link below. Also below is a Google request form where, where you can request uh, other stuff for us to read or watch. It doesn't have to be betrayal. Well, we would appreciate if it was, either way. Remember, if you do not like, then do not read. Later! Peace out, everyone. <laughs>